healthy food on a tight budget can be a challenge, but the more you know, the easier it is to buy nutritious food without exceeding your budget. Today we're going to cover some grocery store tips to help you get healthier food at a better price. Before you go to the store, plan meals and make a list to stay within your budget. For example, if you plan to make spaghetti for dinner on Tuesday and tacos on Thursday, your menu might keep you from making a pricey impulse purchase that is not part of your plan. Use sales and coupons. Planning meals around what's on sale can lower your grocery bills, especially if you also use coupons. Just make sure they're for items you would buy anyway. Learn the facts about the store layout. This can help you save time and keep you from making those impulse buys. Some of the things we should do is to look low for lower prices. Generally, stores will put the generic items on the bottom shelves because it tends to make less money for them. Here are some examples. You've got your rice for $2.99, and that's only a two pound bag, whereas if you look down here, you can even get three pounds for $1.50. Go generic. Buy store brand instead of pricier national brands, and that can save you some money. Let's take example right here. We have a national brand for $1.89, whereas if you look on the bottom shelf, you will find more options of the store brand for 99 cents. Same quantity, less money. Don't assume products at the end of the aisle are, are bargain. They're generally there to grab your attention and to move items fast. Look for manager specials. They're usually good deals and usually marked with bright stickers and signs. Sometimes they get ready to expire quickly, so be sure to check the date. Be savvy about the tricks of the trade. Child-oriented products, snacks and cereals, are placed at children's eye level. Grocers know that children often talk to their parents into buying things, so skip those aisles or be ready to set limits if you're shopping with your children. Pick cereals with fiber and sugar in mind. Try to pick cereals that have less than 10 grams of sugar and more than three grams of fiber per serving. Oatmeal is among one of the most nutritious foods you can get for the money. Have you ever looked at juice that's on sale and wondered if it's really a good deal? One of the best tools you can use is compared unit prices. These are small codes on the shelf below the product that show how much something costs per unit. Unit pricing allows you to easily compare brands. You can keep your kids occupied at the store by asking them to read labels. Studying labels can help your family make the best choices. See how many servings per container to know how many people a product will serve. Companies are required to list product ingredients on the product's labels. Ingredients are listed from the largest amount to the least amount. For example, if sugar is listed first, there is more sugar in the product than any other ingredient. Build your pantry by buying one pricey item, like olive oil, and maybe picking up one spice every other shopping trip. Over time, you will have a supply of staples that will enhance the flavor of whatever you prepare. Spices seem expensive, but because you use small amounts of them, they go a long way. Consider buying one spice a month. If you can shop at ethnic markets, you may be able to find good deals on spices. Buy produce when it's in season. Usually it's priced lower, such as oranges and grapefruits. They're usually cheaper and tastier during their peak season of December and January. Buying apples, a bag of apples is usually cheaper by the bag than individually. For example, these Golden Delicious are $2.49 for a three pound bag, which is 83 cents per pound, or up here you have them at $1.39 per pound. Choose whole wheat or whole grain bread. Even though the label says wheat and multigrain, the bread isn't always whole wheat or whole grain. Look for whole wheat or whole grain on the label and in the ingredients list. Whole wheat bread and whole grains are much more nutritious than white bread. Stew meat tends to be cheaper per pound than other meats and can be tender and flavorful with long, slow cooking. Boneless, skinless chicken breast costs much more than a whole chicken. Roasting a whole chicken is easy, and when you do cook the whole bird, it can become three meals, roasted chicken, chicken tacos, and soup. When there's a great sale on meat or a manager special, make sure to buy extra and freeze it. When buying milk, stick with skim or 1% milk. It has less fat and fewer calories. Stay away from flavored milks. They're more expensive and have lots of extra sugar that kids develop a taste for. Get them used to drinking white milk. 
buy whole cheese instead of shredded or sliced cheese, it usually costs less per pound. Plus, when you shred it as you need it, it usually melts faster and tastes better. Buy eggs. They're inexpensive, high in protein, and can be made quickly into satisfying meals. Consider using frozen or canned fruits and vegetables when fresh fruit or vegetables is too expensive for your budget. Take this broccoli for example. You save over $2 when you buy it frozen versus fresh. And also with the frozen, you can use the amount that you need at the time, reseal the bag, and thus you're reducing waste. And also make sure to buy plain vegetables versus vegetables and sauce because not only does that double the price, but it also doubles the calories. Don't buy sodas and other drinks. Make water your main beverage and watch your food costs and calories drop. American families spend on average $850 a year on soft drinks. Buying healthy food on a tight budget can be a challenge, but the more you know, the easier it is to buy nutritious food without exceeding your budget.